Yeah, we've been talking about the headwaters and Mother, Father, God, and in attunement, you might see us holding our hands like like this, you know. And there's this current, you know, we have this like, you can say this positive and negative charge, this masculine feminine charge, this um, um, the polarities, right? The polarities, like the earth has its polarities. We as magnetic beings, we have our polarities. And in this, I'm holding both polarities. I'm holding the whole within my being, not just here in this like space between my hands, but I'm holding in consciousness this space for that source of my being to flow and move from those, to come from those headwaters, to come right from the source, to move through and, and penetrate my world. You know, it might hurt when still, when someone says nasty words and not claiming to be like this, like always, always attuned. But there is something to say about being like showing up consistently with um, with love, with with presence, and and with that knowing that I have access to the heart of God, that heart of God that that I come from expresses through me. I have access to higher wisdom, even though I'll admit you know it doesn't always express all the time. It is there, and just that knowing that it's there, and that turning and returning and returning still it you know it it forms like this habit this habitual pattern of coming back and coming back and I become more assured in myself more assured in know in knowing the truth of my being more assured in knowing that I can face whatever happens you know whatever it is I can be there I can be there without you know, getting, you know, spun around, or even if I do get spun around, I know I can come back. I know I can. I am assured in knowing this about myself. And, you know, one thing attunement teaches us as well is, you know, we come and be with whatever we're meeting. We come from this place of reverence. We come from this place of like deep honor for for the being. We come without wanting or needing to change. Like we're not, we don't have our fix it hats on. Though so sometimes being in that place of attunement, when we come, we sometimes bring solutions, but we're not coming with the intention to fix it. We're not coming, I'm not coming to a situation to, you know, tell you how to be with it, to necessarily even be seen as that sage wise person. Even though you can probably see me that way if I show up in the spirit of attunement. Um, but yeah, we're showing up, I'm showing up just holding it, just, just holding those, these polarities, no matter where you are in this, like, you know, on this, the spectrum, <laughs> no matter what's happening, um, I can just hold this space. I can witness you. I can come from the centered place and I can see, I can just see, I see you. I see the situation. I'm here. I'm here, I'm present, I'm bringing my love. And even if you're, you know, really spinning off this way, I still love you. I may hold some boundaries and say, no, you can't do that here. That's not okay here. That's, that's, that's part of attunement too. Like that's part of being centered and attuned. But I'm just, I hold respect for your process. I hold respect for your journey, for your life, for your being. And in that, it's so much easier to meet myself too. So much easier to, um, yeah, just be, just be with what is and be centered. Thank you. Thank you.